Yeah, indecision came back. All right, we're at four people. Let's go ahead and get started. I'll start rant. Stop ranting about my uh, cultural ineptitude. What is this? What is this? <laughs> I wish I could get away with that. Oh, that'd be so cool. I could still get away with this, maybe. I'm cramped into a corner back here is the problem. Oh, but what is this? What is this? Oh, it's so silly. Can I use it? Kind of. Ish. Maybe. It's weird. Where's the rest of the map? What's it look like? Okay, we got... Ooh, what is this? What's happening in this game? There's too many things. I'm not going to be able to decide. Is it also bad that I'm dragging around a robotic colony this entire time? Like I'm actually going to found robotic? Am I going to do it? I don't know. Man, I want adjacency bonuses, but I want... Oh, this is so awkward trying to pick out a good spot from here. Because I don't want to get rid of that carbon. I guess I could go here. That could work. Doing it. Don't even care. It's not great, but it's tolerable. Buy up that steel. All the steel. Literally. All the steel. There we go. This robot is going for the solar panel play. It is indecision, so that really shouldn't surprise me much. This is what indecision does. Which means we will need to potentially get down a little bit of power on HQ level 2. So we will be looking to buy up some silicon at some point. We could maybe even throw down just silicon quarries and then turn them into power. And then a little bit of steel on top of that. Might not be the end of the world. Alright, let's sell the iron down. We might even scrap an iron out for a steel and just gonna have two steels running. I don't really know. We could maybe make it work. Aluminum got super expensive. We'll upgrade anyways. Beginning construction. Reticulating ah, this is tempting. It's so long term though, this kind of play. Like gather up 160 silicon, bring it back to the headquarters and then send out the power. If I want to do that that way. But it might work out alright. It's so expensive to build though. Okay, well, what I should do is just go ahead and do this. I really do want at least one solar panel. Silicon's just not that long-term a thing for me, though, is the thing. New claim could be really, really strong right now. We'll go for the new claim. I'm being far too hesitant this game, but I don't want at, uh, indecision over here to just run away with it based on power alone. See how he's not bidding on this auction at all? That's why. We will bid on it somewhat. We'll head to 32. That's where we stop. The 32. That gives us enough to maybe actually get away with throwing down on the silicon. Instead of just buying it. Because we have two claims for it now. We have that extra claim. We're hoping at this point that it's enough to kind of make work. I was really hoping for this tile, and then this guy just takes it from me. Quite frustrating. Because I wanted a little bit more aluminum coming in than the 1.5 we're sitting on right now, if I'm honest. Just a little bit more. And unfortunately, it doesn't give adjacency bonuses to the steel mill, but it's not that big a deal. Like, we don't really rely too much on the adjacency bonuses. The black market is because they're just not very good at the end of the day. Okay, let's see. We've got two claims. We could push for an expansion still, I suppose. We've got the silicon coming in. I suppose another option. These aren't defended. Power's actually staying low. Did somebody else build power this game? Yeah, somebody else already did build power this game. So maybe we're okay to kind of just power on through for now. Alright, let's grab a goon squad because we're robotic and we don't want to get blown out of the game entirely. And I guess we can just kind of sit back. We're pulling in the silicon we'll need for... Four solar panels. Power starting to get just going up. Power surge hit one of our buildings. That's what I'm talking about right there. That goon squad. He's a hero today. He is the hero that we needed. Absolutely. All right, let's sell down some steel. That was probably a bit too much. We'll buy up a little bit, but that's fine. We're just looking for that expansion at this point. I'm gonna get down probably a couple solar panels when we get to it. And we need to start looking at everything else we have access to. We have access to some carbon. We could throw down carbon up here as well, just to get in this guy's way. Instead of adjacent, here. 
and maybe hope to buy him at some point. He does have a chemical lab down, which I guess is making him money, but kind of an awkward thing to have down already. Is he moving into another one? He is. So even though the chem labs are kind of making money now, here's my logic behind not, not using them the way that they're being used right now. Let me get down these stupid carbon tiles that I want. Maybe we just take the one carbon tile. We don't even take that one. We take that one. There we go. Then we go ahead and throw down those panels that I wanted. We'll put them um, maybe over here, just on top of some resources. And we keep heading through upgrades. Mike could have put them out here instead of this silicon, which isn't going to do too well, but we can always kind of rotate. Now nah, let's put them out there. Let's put something else here. Let's go ahead and put them out here. Cold fusion, really, really good these days. I'll take it. Now, we don't have extra claims to throw down on water because I already threw them down because I was like, panels! And then I was like, no, that's stupid! But we can still figure out something to do with that. We could even just throw down some... I mean, we could put down glass furnaces if we really wanted to. 9,000 for cold fusion sounds wonderful. I will absolutely take it. And what's going to actually make the most money in the short term? Actually, you know what's probably going to make the most money in the short term is just iron right there for now. And then we'll figure out something else out later. Everything else is kind of weak, actually. Everything else is just a little bit weak. Let's sell down that silicon that we don't really need. Got hit by an underground nuke. Are you serious right now? Just on our little carbon tile? That was worth it to you? That was worth an underground nuke to you. Alright, fine, whatever. That's what we get for thinking we could actually take a tile. See, now we're consuming power, or sorry, water instead of power, so that's all fine. Just wanting to get to HQ level 4 at this point. Not a big deal. We just want, we really want these two water tiles. It's what I would have taken if I were paying attention and following through on the game plan. The power is still okay to have down, I suppose. Still fine. Interestingly enough, we're now consuming power with a freighter here. This stupid little useless freighter, which we'll actually turn this quarry off. Because power consumption is higher than all that, and I just would rather not. I would just rather not. Let's just leave it at that for now. Need that upgrade. Just waiting on it. Man, in a water shortage, this is how desperately we need this upgrade so we can actually get to this right here. This is all we want to do. Unfortunately, we're not really making money right now. <laughs> we just have steel powering out, a little bit of aluminum coming in. Get those water tiles for me, please. Get those water tiles for me. They're far enough away, but I think we've got them. I think we've got the water tiles we wanted. Throw down the pumps. Okay. Two claims left. We can turn this into something interesting like glass right here instead of the iron. So I think that's kind of the next goal. Just make a little bit of money off the glass. We could throw down a little bit of extra aluminum if we wanted to. Aluminum's kind of expensive, but I don't know if it's really the right call. Also, look at these chem labs just not making much money because there's no market pressure on them. Another thing we can do. Scrap, scrap. Glass, glass. Oh, come on. I have enough. I have enough. Come on. Don't be ridiculous. Of course I have enough. I don't quite have enough, guys. We're just looking to get down three glass, and then I'm thinking an engineering lab, and then we'll start looking at moving into electronics with the engineering lab in particular. This water could do well for us. It could be useless later in the game. We're going to need to make sure we kind of use it very, very effectively, but it's quite valuable in the moment. Could even adrenaline boost it, actually. Geotherm is fine. Don't really care one way or the other, honestly. I would like to adrenaline boost this water, though. I could even goon squad and then adrenaline boost it if I wanted to commit that hard to it. And just start having the water fly in. This player has a lot of water. This player has water as well. But I think it might still be worthwhile. I'm going to try it. We'll see how it goes. Let that water come flying in. Hopefully it'll work out for us. Make sure these steel mills are consistently producing. Make sure the glass furnaces are consistently producing. Silicon flew up in price, which is unfortunate. But I suppose not the end of the world. It's just hurting our glass production a bit. Thankfully we have silicon if we want to move on into it. We just don't really want to yet is all. One claim left. I wanted an engineering lab with that. Let's go ahead and get it down. And now I'm looking at HQ level 
five. I need HQ level five. I want to get some electronics down. I'm completely locked out of the carbon in this territory, so that nuke just basically exploded the tile. And there's not much for me to do with it. The water is working reasonably well right now. It's not great, but it's okay. As you can see, we're now consuming water instead of power because of that price shift, so... These glass furnaces, though, unfortunately, are not working. They are not operating anywhere near acceptably. We are going to grab an EMP, find something to throw it at before long. There's a patent office down getting work done. We could move these into food, actually, quite easily. We know that water is flooding right now because everybody kind of was responding to that high water price. Start that electronics production, and we're looking at HQ level 5 still. Steel is still decent to have down. Aluminum is still good to have down. We could move out of the aluminum and into a bit more steel, since steel is so expensive right now. And aluminum's coming kind of down in price. So I think we will. Not too expensive a transition. Just some iron. Iron a bit expensive on its own, yes, but not the end of the world. We don't really want to disrupt this carbon flow. We want carbon to stay low. Bradbury did get to slant drilling, so that's fine for him. Could try and shut down some steel production here. Just kind of disrupt what he's doing. We're making steel too. We'd like that to stay more valuable for us than it is for him in a lot of ways. We might even transition away from one of our steel mills into another iron mine before long. We could move this one around. I think that would be the right call. Let's do it. We still get good adjacency bonuses, and we get adjacency bonuses on the iron as well, so I think that's fine. Keep using the black market. Just keep doing it. There's an upgrade, which we will just take. The water's not doing so well, but it helped out when we needed it to the most, I think, so hopefully we're okay. Uh, geotherm tile is all right. I don't want to let it just go for free. I really hate this nuke, though. This nuke's bothering me a lot. We'll bit up just a hair more. Just a hair more. And now we're looking at seriously getting into this electronics production, which isn't actually so good right now. Mostly because of the silicon price, so we'll go ahead and start fixing that. Aluminum's not doing great either, but we do produce electronics more effectively than anybody else, and we are starting to upgrade them, make that work, and we need to try and bring that price down somehow if we can. So we'll just work on that very, very soon. As we can see, the metal mine's doing fine, the steel's doing okay as well. The water's absolutely fine as well. Maybe we throw down... No, I don't really want to throw down much of anything. If I'm going to throw down any anything, I kind of want it to be an engineering lab. Maybe out here. Should be okay. Going to be looking for maybe one more goon squad as well. We do have carbon right next to our base if we absolutely have to use it. We have aluminum here as well, which could provide some benefits long term. At least the iron income is strong, and so it's kind of helping our steel out, but our steel still isn't m very good. So I'm actually going to move into even more iron. And maybe just into aluminum, maybe completely out of the rest of these resources and just into all this. The steel mill has adjacency bonuses, but they're not very good, and it's still not very profitable without it. I don't really want to get rid of all of them, but that's probably the wrong call. It's just like a gut thing more than an intelligent thing. Just, I don't want to. That's the entire reason. It's an awful reason. It's still the reason I'm going with. Silicon's doing well for us, which is nice. Got a lot of silicon production coming in. We can look at moving into glass in the future. Just watch out for that. But obviously first comes this electronics production that we are working so, so hard for. Make sure we've got it fully upgraded. We'll be looking for an adrenaline boost. Asimov's starting to secure himself, which is fine. AKA indecision. It's just the indecision style of play he was doing. That's why I'm assuming it was indecision. Steel mill's still operating okay. Bradbury's halfway to buying us. Well, how much is he actually sitting on? Quite a lot. Maybe we buy some of ourselves and we buy some of Clark. Let's just start on that road. Some of ourselves, some of Clark. Hopefully that's all alright. Let's see, the water's not doing so hot. We could move that into power before long if we really that wanted to. Those all getting adjacent, or getting aggressive against each other is fine. We'll go ahead and boost some of our electronics. I would have loved to goon squad it again before doing that, but it didn't seem like necessarily the right call. Trying to push for a goon squad as well. 
We'll make sure we've got at least half of ourselves secured, I think. Maybe even more. Thankfully, these two are so busy fighting over each other, they're not really getting in my way with Clark. And Clark would give us really nice access to carbon, is what we're looking for out of Clark. Alright. Food has fallen off significantly. So I'm tempted to go ahead and start making a transition toward glass instead. A claim would be nice, but it's not the end of the world if I don't get it. Debt is becoming a factor here. I need to be watching my debt more carefully. I never watch my debt carefully enough. But we're going to push to 24000 for that claim anyway. Because, once again, I never watch my debt carefully enough. Even while I'm talking about it, I can't watch my debt carefully enough. Alright, 28000 That's going over to Clark. That's actually more or less okay. Unfortunately, we do get EMP'd out through our boost. Uh, thankfully, it didn't land on the exact right spot. It didn't hit the exact right tile. We still have one of these operational, but not a great one. Oh, come on. Let me do it already. There we are. That's teleportation over to somebody who isn't us, which is sad, but we don't never really after teleportation. We'll actually upgrade some glass production here, just two that way. Keep going into Clark and ourselves. We're being very careful about this buy. As careful as we can be. The C rating is really starting to make me nervous. I wish I knew how much I had to pay off to get it down in interest rate. Down to like a double B instead. Okay, there's a, there's a B. So that's better. At least we can, well, interest already happened, so that was probably a bad call, but whatever. And let's go ahead and shut down whatever's making Clark the most money. Like his water and his carbon. The carbon will kind of hurt our electronics production, but long term, hopefully Clark being unable to defend himself will, will pay off a bit. Oh no, we hurt our turned off tile, which I could probably afford to turn back on. But I'm not worrying about it too much right now. Okay, another quick freeze on us, which wasn't very effective. We should get out of some of these and back into more steel production at this point. The steel production is just going to be a bit stronger overall. The electronics is still going okay. It's not great, but it's okay. We can grab another adrenaline boost and maybe hit our glass with it this time. We do want to keep going on upgrades, but we also want to make sure we secure as much of this stock as we can. So we got all of his stock. Maybe we upgrade glass more, maybe we upgrade silicon a bit. Silicon's going up. Like, we've got a lot of pressure going on the silicon. EMP hurts. Not much to do about it. It didn't land on any goons, because they're all revealed, so... But the water, at least, is going reasonably well. And we're just going to need to get to this Clark buy before long. Clark buying some stock in us. That's actually probably okay. I don't think we need to buy any of our own stock. We just need to push and make sure we can finish off Clark. That's all we're really looking to do right now. And I think our production is set up well enough that we'll probably pull it off. Unfortunately, steel has fallen away. Silicon tanked completely. I'm guessing that was Indecision's fault. I wasn't expecting that. We'll still leave the upgrades running because they're half... Well, one of them's half done. We'll cancel the other and move into maybe some water production. Water's still going strong-ish. Carbon scrubbing would be kind of cool, but not absolutely necessary. Let's see. Are these losing him money? No, they are making him money. Is anybody losing money on anything? Because I just kind of want to nanovirus it, if they are. Yeah, we'll push to 14. We'll push to 14. Maybe a bit higher. If Clark gets this, it's actually not the end of the world. We can still acquire it if Clark gets it. So, we may just need to let it go. Okay, the electronics is kind of functional. Thankfully, but we will need to look at moving out of it before long. And nothing's really great. We need to get to an off-world at some point for sure. Bradbury's seriously halfway to buying us. Thankfully, he has bigger problems. With any luck, at least, he has bigger problems. He's got so much money. Bradbury's just sitting on so much cash. Seriously, another nuke our way from Clark? Clark, could we, could we be done with this, please? You've been doing it all game, and I'm kind of tired of it. Alright, well, what do we want to nuke out over here? We want to nuke out... This guy, actually. It's defended. Great. Should have expected. But it was worth a shot. 114. We're almost there. We're making decent progress. The water is kind of working out. Unfortunately, we're burning most of it to power our buildings right now because it's cheaper than power. Speaking of, we should actually probably put power down at some point and then we'll stop getting so much silly debt. There we are. We got Clark taken down. That gives us a lot of carbon coming in. It gives us this decent chem labs. We can go ahead and move into a little bit of iron again. Scrap out of these. Iron, iron. Should work out okay. A lot of water coming in all of a sudden. 
maybe get we've got power down now which is nice we can keep upgrading that water production we've got engineering labs down now which is nice really need to be see that's not nearly gonna the killer it is anymore because we got that buy done so that raised our value significantly we did eat a nuke somewhere i don't really know where it was on water unfortunate but that's still two lows with adjacency bonuses and frankly water's not all that good all of a sudden so it's not the end of the world the off world is what we need to get to that has to be our next objective like we're gonna buy that last little bit of stock we're gonna go ahead and do that so that we've got it secured then we unfortunately were still way behind bradbury his debt is still painful for him right now like his debt's kind of actually a problem and so we can look for places to do nanoviruses and things like that if he's ever not making money on a thing or not making much money like we could nanovirus here while he's in the middle of maybe trying to make a transition and make it a little bit harder Something like that could work out well for us. Keep these engineering labs running, please. What do we want to engineering lab, though? We need to get out of these electronics at the end of the day. They're just... They need to be gotten rid of. They need to be reactors, which means our engineering lab needs to go into oxygen. Every last bit of it. The glass is still all right. The chems are still all right. We could upgrade chems before long as well. And turn this back on so we have plenty of carbon coming in. And unfortunately, it's still just this off-world we have to get to. 73,000. Like, we're just trying to maintain everything we're doing while we get to this off-world. It's a bit of an awkward situation, though. Thankfully, the off-world is super, super cheap. And we're probably just going to commit to as many of them as we can. We could upgrade, but I'm not going to do it. I'm going to get two off-worlds up first, I think, before I even upgrade. Because that's just the state we're in this game is what it feels like to me. I think we may... We need to decide on something to scrap out of. It may just be this power right here, actually. I think that's what it's going to be. We're going to grab that off-world. Um, we could drop a goon squad on it, but I'm probably not going to. Grab another nanovirus. What's not doing well for you? Anything? Everything's kind of doing reasonably blue. Oh, well, these aren't doing well for you at all. There. You're stuck with them. Deal with it, jerk. Let's see. Which means they aren't doing well for us, either. I don't know. They actually are, because we've just upgraded them so heavily. So there's that, at least. Let's upgrade water production again. Since water is just ridiculous resource this game that's bouncing around literally all over the place and then we need to upgrade chems and we need more off worlds he is sitting on a hundred and ten thousand dollars we did got hit by a freeze that kind of hurts that's going to delay our off world production quite badly actually which is not good for us and we need to start another one very very soon how much is that going to cost us seventy six thousand that's what we're looking at now we'll scrap this tile and put the off world down there instead Glass is doing all right. There is a glass shortage. Not going to bother buying into it because it's kind of risky right now to do that sort of thing against an opponent who's in a stronger position than you. But we'll try and get this off world down before the shortage completely goes out through. And then we'll move back into quite a lot of steel here. Now let's just make it quite a lot of steel. There you go. Water's going well. We could upgrade. Probably not the end of the world if we choose to upgrade. Thankfully, our opponent is having to choose to pay down a lot of debt. That's working in our favor. It's put us into a much better spot. We can get more claims. We can get more off-worlds up. We can maybe get some more glass production down. Get more chem production down. Maybe. There's not a lot of room here, but we can get a little bit done. We'll grab a goon squad and we'll actually use it for our chems because that's our single most valuable production. We'll be looking to adrenaline boost that before long. Let's see. The reactors are losing money, so we'll transition away from those. Go ahead and move into some farms. Just like that. There you go. Six farms right there. And that's all of our claims used. We'll be looking for a couple of places to put down more off-worlds, maybe at some point. Uh, but for now, let's upgrade food production as much as we can. Upgrade chems a little bit more. Upgrade food a little bit more. And make sure these sends get started. Send oxygen. Just constantly send oxygen for the time being on both of them. Oh, come on, do both. There you go. And now we're in a better spot. We have more off-worlds than he does. We have more engineering labs than he does. We're kind of okay. Okay, the chem labs. That's upgrading there. Start another one right there. Could upgrade power production as well to pay off debt a bit better. I am going to for the moment, though, just adrenaline boost these labs. And electronics are actually fantastic again. So I need to look at that instead of something like steel. Steel's kind of okay, but... And this is going to be an expensive transition. I really should have gone into something like nanotech, potentially, if the game was going to go this long. 
But look at electronics. I mean, that's just crazy. Look how good that is. Uh, do we put down another off-world? I think we do. We're a bit ahead on cash right now, but if we just stay one off-world ahead, we'll be okay. Get rid of this trace tile. Go ahead and make it an off-world. Uh, let's see. Actually, cancel that recent one. Send fuel instead. Just start chain sending fuel. Well, I guess that works. I guess that's okay. Not the end of the world. It's more or less whatever. Okay, the water production is starting to make me nervous, but our opponent doesn't have a lot of water production either. We're still way ahead on cash, it looks like. His stock price is a bit better because he's paid down so much debt. But hopefully that doesn't kill us. I think we'll be alright. Let's see, the food's not doing so hot anymore because water's just gone so nuts. We have it fully upgraded, so we can kind of leave it online. But another option is to just make it steel. I know, we're still actually upgrading food, and I think we'll go ahead and finish that off, but then we're going to upgrade all this steel. Chems are so cheap, there's no point in not continuing our upgrades right now, as far as I can tell. And we'll just kind of go with what we've got. I think we can carry it on through at this point. I think we have more upgrades, because we've been consistently using the labs fairly well. Fairly well. I think we're doing a better job of transitioning our production as well. Which is making a big difference. We will scrap out of these and move on into some aluminum mines. To make sure that doesn't get too out of hand. Reactors are starting to look very, very good again. So we'll get out of this glass and on into not steel mills. I always do this. I don't know what it is. Can't get steel mills and reactors sorted. And out of these chem labs and on into maybe even just some more reactors again. There we are. That was way too expensive because it costs steel. But I think we're still alright. These auto sends aren't so good. Make sure we queue up some food. And cancel these as they happen. There we go. Cancel that one. Sell the oxygen. Cancel that one. Sell the oxygen. Or sell the fuel. And we'll just cancel this one once it's done as well. I think we're just about there. Maybe we don't start... Well, we can still start upgrades. It's $15 to start an upgrade. What am I talking about? Let's just upgrade out uh, carbon. We've got a lot of it coming in. Why not? Electronics is still going okay. It's not great, but it's okay. We do have the option of adrenaline boosting again, so we're going to take that. We're going to cancel that shipment. No, we're actually going to send that shipment and cancel that shipment. There we go. It's hard keeping track of these off-worlds with prices also ridiculously high, but we can see he's only halfway there. We're making really strong progress. We're almost got it wrapped up right now. This adrenaline boost is working out okay for us. Excuse me. Not fantastic. The steel is awful. Turn that off. Not going to bother transitioning it because the game is over. More upgrades than the science player. Just pointing it out. Yeah, I was right. That was just based on a feel of... How production was moving around. And also the fact that we got into our labs uh, much faster than he did by getting to the buy much earlier. And in particular, more relevant upgrades than the science player. So, yeah. But the only reason I said I thought I had more upgrades... First of all, yeah, we had the labs longer. Second, prices were not coming down fast enough for both of us to have those full upgrades. And you can feel that by how fast prices are moving around. So it was that simple, actually. Blues did a good job that game. Blues, I haven't seen a whole lot of Blues, but it seems like he does well in each of these games. He made a lot of steel. That seems to be where most of his money came from. Obviously, we were doing a lot of dancing around our iron tiles because we're robotic, and that's kind of your advantage as robotic. We were dancing around our steel and our iron quite a lot, trying to make it work for us as best as we can. Whereas he's a scientific player. He just got to sit on his four steel mills and make half a mill off those alone, right? Thankfully for us, he got into too much debt. He ended up having to pay that down, and that really hurt him long term. He might have gotten... He didn't even get more off-world launches off than we do. did, despite the fact that he had an off-world up for much longer. We apparently pushed into the rest of them just fine. And then we can see our robotic electronics did some serious work that game. Chems weren't bad. Everything else was kind of okay-ish. Obviously, we bought a lot of steel, but that's to be expected when we're making stupid transitions in the late game. But it's really that electronics, the adrenaline-boosted electronics, with the double production from Robotic that won us the game. 
We did win a game as robotic. There's that. Indecision made his standard power play. This is the kind of thing you can expect to see Indecision do, like literally every game. I'll go ahead and explain it just so people understand. This is actually a really, really good game to try it out as, but it just didn't quite pan out for him. I think people are getting a little bit wise to it. Other people had power down. I had the option of putting down power earlier if I had decided to, and then power stayed a little bit lower than I expected, so I just didn't for a while, and it kind of worked out. But what he does is he finds a giant silicon patch, and he throws down on top of it enough to put down at least like two solar panels. And then he just tries to make money on power based off of that. And then Indecision says that uh, he screwed up level 2-3. That makes sense. But basically, my understanding is he throws down on a patch. He gathers up a bunch of silicon. He puts down solar panels. I think he dropped them here and here, which was fantastic for him. And he tries to make money on power to get to HQ level 2. And then keep pushing through by maintaining no debt and a high power price. So he's difficult to buy. right? You can't buy him because his stock price is very high because he has no debt. And he's still managing to push through. And he's managing to take advantage of the most, of the highest priced resource in the game, right? The resource that makes the most money at that point in the game, assuming you have no debt. Downsides are you have to stay out of auctions in particular. That's the big one. You can't take an auction very well at all. And you're very, very dependent on other people not managing to get powered down. So, yeah, two solar, one aluminum is what Indecision says. For that one, which makes a lot of sense to me. The aluminum kind of helps you push to that upgrade, just in case the aluminum goes too nuts. It's an interesting thing to do, and I've got to experiment with it more. I'm glad that science are going to lo lose their research bonus. Keeping up with upgrades, black market, off-worlds, yeah. That makes sense. Don Blue still played, out, fit, played it out really, really well, though. Sell one of his own stocks. Clark doesn't have funds to buy back. That was actually a really good call out of Game Slayer back then. I should have sold one of my own stocks to push to Clark. That's something I almost never do. I've got to work on that as part of my gameplay. It would have been a really good call. And yeah, we got it done. It was just the upgrades. It was a decent robotic spot as well. It wasn't great, but I just kind of saw adjacency bonuses throughout here. And I was like, well, we'll do what we can with those. And try to make it work. Alright guys, let's play another game, shall we?